the rules of impeachment of the House of Representatives, we will have to set a hearing in the committee level. Probably two or three hearings. We will hear the complainant, we will hear the respondent. And then the committee will set a hearing to determine whether there is a probable cause. And uh, if there's probable cause, or even if there's no probable cause, the committee has to make a report. And this is subject to approval by the House in the plenary. Meaning, uh, we acted this morning because we only had five session days left. The Constitution provides that we have to finish the committee deliberation within 60 session days, and we just did, we, we acted on that because uh, that is the mandate under the Constitution. Uh, Your Honors, what will happen here with the Del Castillo impeachment complaint is that we are, we are given 10 session days if if the committee will find probable cause next week or the week after next, 10 session days to put this in the calendar of business. And if we transmit, assuming we transmit it to the plenary in the House, the House will have 60 session days to decide. So meaning, as chairman, I cannot say if the decision would be for impeachment. Because as of now, the decision is only finding the complaint uh, it's just that we determined that the complaint alleges sufficient grounds for impeachment. So on the next voting on probable cause, I wouldn't know uh, your honor. Uh, so it's too premature for the chairman to say whether indeed the committee will impeach Chief uh, Associate Justice Del Castillo. But uh, with, with the concerns raised by the honorable senator, uh, we have discussed this with the leadership of the House and uh, it will be taken into consideration that the leadership will be mindful on the concerns that uh, to impeachment uh, an, impeach, uh, an impeachment an article of impeachment would be uh, transmitted to the Senate. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a consideration uh, that will be taken into account by the House because we know how burdensome it is. Uh, for just one impeachment trial before the Senate, uh, Your Honor. Uh, we, we cannot control the House. The Senate cannot, and we do not mean to uh, uh, give even our views on how the House would conduct its uh, uh, impeachment proceedings. Well, of course, we're apprehensive that if the first course, or rather the second course, that is, that if you collect two-thirds, is that two-thirds? Uh, two-thirds uh, uh, votes of the members, then it will be immediately transmitted to uh, the Senate in the same manner as the one of uh, Chief Justice Corona. Uh, of course, we're worried about that because then suddenly it will be thrown into our lap and that's it, you know. And then, uh, while the contribution will be the House will be sending here a prosecution team, the entire Senate uh, will have to attend to that. So uh, that that is the uh, the uh, that is the problem. But uh, we just want to know because uh, <coughs> we, well, we have a concern about that. And you know, as I said before, I've been member member of the House. I've liked the House. I've served it long. Uh, I hope you don't make a cottage industry of of, of uh, impeachment uh, uh, that uh, I, I talk as a former member with sympathies for uh, because uh, it's not easy for that uh, for, uh, for us also here. Thank you very much. Just uh, uh, if I may uh, Your Honor, with respect to uh, with respect to the concern that two thirds or one third may sign, it's a different mode. This is the mode that was uh, the, the mode that was used uh, in the impeachment of Chief Justice uh, Corona was the one-third signing. That's why it was automatically transmitted to the Senate. But with respect to the Del Castillo impeachment complaint, it goes to the committee level. And it will, be, it will, uh, it will pass through the plenary, meaning that uh, the one-third signature mode is not applicable here, uh, Your Honor.
Well, if you, whatever mode, I said, the Senate is in no way and can no way interfere with the proceedings of the House. But if you should do, file an impeachment complaint, please make your articles of impeachment good. The reason why you are handicapped today in the case of Chief Justice Corona is because of the articles of impeachment that was prepared by the House. It's not because, because you have very good prosecutors. But if the complaint is not good, it would be very difficult no matter how good the lawyers are. Thank you very much. So, Mr. President, at this point, um, you are now able to call the, or we are ready to call on the prosecution for the continuation of the presentation of evidence. The prosecution, I may now proceed to call the witness. Mr. Chairman. Your Honor, please, may we beg the indulgence of the Honorable <coughs> Court on certain matters that to us is not very clear, Your Honor. May we be uh, permitted? The pressure of the Defense Council. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you for the opportunity for doing so, Your Honor. Now, this refers to the motion for reconsideration being made or filed by a defense lawyer or, the or a member of the prosecution, Your Honor. I was made to understand, and it is my humble submission, Your Honor, that the motion for reconsideration, that no motion for reconsideration may be made by any party, irrespective of whom he represents, Your Honor, only in connection with the voting insofar as uh, the impeachment proceedings are concerned. If there is already a voting and the voting had been made, there is no motion for reconsideration that will be entertained. That is pursuant to Article 21, Rule 21, Your Honor. So much so that being guided by this, artic this uh, rule, Your Honor, we made motions or we filed motion for reconsideration believing that we can do so. On the other hand, there was a statement to the effect that only a member of this impeachment court or the Senate tribunal can file motion for reconsideration. May we, may we be further enlightened so that we can act accordingly in the future, in, if the future instances demand so, Your Honor. Does it refer to any matter that, that is under consideration by the impeachment court or uh, only with respect to Rule 21, Your Honor? The Mr. President, from yes. Sagan, yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, again, this issue was raised, and I raised this issue both in relation to a motion for reconsideration by the prosecution before, and this time by a motion for reconsideration by the defense or counsel for the respondent. Um, as correctly cited by Senator Dillon a while ago, we cite Article 6. It is to facilitate the proceedings, Your Honor, um, whereby um, we do not have to put a vote all the matters that the uh, Senate has to decide on. Once the presiding officer makes a ruling, it is considered as the ruling of the Senate itself, unless a member of the Senate would seek a reconsideration from the same. Otherwise, we would be, we would be flooded with um, motions for reconsideration left and right, and we would have to put it to a vote. Each time um, a motion is made by the parties, hence um, the logic behind Article 6. Also, Mr. President, this finds support in the precedents in other impeachment proceedings in other jurisdictions in particular. I cite impeachment proceedings in the United States. I submit, Mr. President. Uh, gentlemen from Tagui. Magandang hapon, uh, Mr. Senate President. Magandang hapon po. Mr. President, may I um, submit my view on the matter at hand? Sabi po ng section na uh, Ng, uh, rule 6, the President of the Senate or the Chief Justice when presiding on the trial may rule on all questions of evidence including but not limited to questions of materiality, relevancy, competency, or admissibility of evidence and incidental questions. Which ruling shall stand as the judgment of the Senate? Unless a member of the Senate shall ask, for a for, uh, shall ask that a formal vote shall be taken thereon in which case it shall be trans submitted to the Senate for decision after one contrary view is expressed. So, Mr. President, ang rule po simple, 
kapag ka meron pong issue, ang presiding officer can do two things or three things. Number one, pwede siya mag na kaagad. At kung walang apela, yun na po ang desisyon ng impeachment court. Or he can throw it to the body at pwede pong magbotohan. That, that's a...